Hey, Chris Winters here, and I want to come out with this quick, short tips on here because we're having a lot of people in their private blog networks are de-indexing. I'm going to show you how to prevent it really quickly. None of my private blog networks have been de-indexed. I have well over 100 of them, and I'm going to show you exactly how to make sure that yours do not because these things still work, so don't get scared by what everyone's telling you out there. Okay, so number one, if you're using traditional SEO hosting, you've got to stop, okay? So the, there's places like seohosting.com and seohost.com. You have to stop using those, okay? So if you are, migrate, switch over, get rid of them because Google's going after them. Okay, now this is kind of a tough one. Stop using Host9. Now, I still have 100 sites on Host9. They're perfectly fine, but I think that just to be on the safe side, everybody has been using Host9 lately for private blog networks, and I know a lot of people that got their sites de-indexed and they were doing things wrong, but they're on Host9. So if you can, I would recommend moving off of Host9. So the question becomes is where do you host your private blog network sites now? Well, you're going to go to places like GoDaddy, um, HostGator, and there's a whole slew of $1 and $2 low-cost hosting. Now, these are all shared hosting. These are not SEO hosting sites out there. And I'll put a link below here to a nice little forum that has uh, that updates all the time, these $1 a month hosting sites, okay? They're nothing fancy. There's no thrills, but they'll be perfect, and you'll get separate IP addresses for each and every one of your private blog networks. All right. I want you to get this free plugin. There's no upsells or anything sh shenanigans with this. It's completely free. It's called linkprivacy.com, and what it's going to do is it's going to prevent anyone from coming in, any of your competition from coming in and using like SEO Moz, or SEO Majesta, any of the hundreds of backlink tools out there to follow your backlinks and discover what your private blog networks are. And if you're ranking number one, then what they'll do, competition is stiff out there, is they'll report your blog network sites and you'll get de-indexed that way. But this, this plugin, this free one, will prevent that from happening. Now, you have to make your sites look real. Look, I've spent the afternoon looking at people who've sent me their private blog networks that got de-indexed and they look like private blog networks. You've got to make them look real. So let's follow these tips on here. First of all, your post has got to vary in lengths, okay? You don't have a bunch of posts that are all 500 word posts, okay? Don't do that. Sometimes you have a 200 word article, sometimes an 800. Vary it up. Make sure that uh, you every two or three post you put in a relevant YouTube video. Just find one off of YouTube and insert it in, but it's got to be relevant, okay? to the topic, to the article, and stop using keyword anchor text, okay? Look, I've done, you know, lots of research out there of real sites ranking number one, and all of them have one thing in common. They've got about 1% to 2% max of all total backlinks, anchor text, is their keywords. So just stop using them. That's really spammy. Use your brand name. Use the URL. Use click here. Just keep it safe. Don't make it look like a blog network okay so maximum now we're going to reduce this down to 20 outgoing links to your money sites okay and that's off of the home page now some of your posts need to have zero outbound links it's just a post there's no link going anywhere that's natural okay some of your posts only have links going out to authority sites okay like bbc news yahoo news how to stuff like this okay and it's got to be relevant to your content don't just link out to anything make it relevant okay and this is kind of a tough one here but you but you've got to theme out all of your sites so if you're an automotive like me then you need to have automotive sites okay you got to have sites that are themed out about automotive you got to make them look real don't just use the free themes use the free themes but then you got to customize them a little bit you can use these free tools here I'll put links below you can put a free header in there there's a there's a banner that you can make headers with on this you can also make a little business logo completely free very easy to do make it look real one thing I do too is I'll also put sometimes I'll put background image in in my site this is a free plugin to do that so I've got like a Mustang site and it's got a, a images in the background of like Mustangs and there's Mustang cars okay so you don't have to do this last one but it makes it look more customizable okay now make sure that you have the following pages in here you've got a disclaimer page you've got a privacy policy you've got terms of agreement on here okay you need a contact us page with an address email and name you know you get creative with that kind of stuff okay alrighty 
and that's it right there so i hope you enjoyed that uh i'll leave the comment box on below and i will answer any questions that you have there thank you